Fabulae Facles 6.2 In the previous episode, we read the whole of this entry and then analyzed and translated down through Miserat. For this episode, we will begin with Hoc Cotidiae and work our way through Trotteret. Hoc Cotidiae e Mardri Veniebat et Homines de Wardrabat ab hanc causam pavor animos omnium ac cupaverat. Cepheus igitur ar draculum dei hamamones consuluit, atqua adeo iusus est filiam monstro trotere. The antecedent of this demonstrative adjective hoc, which is being used as a pronoun, the antecedent is monstrum. Like monstrum, hoc is neuter and singular, but it is nominative, unlike hoc, because it is the subject of its clause, not the object. This monster, daily, day after day, the adverb quotidie is from quote dies, meaning several days in a row. This monster daily, from the sea, was coming ashore when he abot. This is an imperfect third singular, from the fourth conjugation verb wenio, wenire. Was coming from the sea each day, and homines de wardrabat. It was choking down, devouring, eating up people. Homines masculine, plural, and accusative. For this reason, because of this fact, this cause, ob, the preposition, plus the accusative, and ob is a synonym of propter, which also takes the accusative. For this reason, a pa war, a dread, animus omnium, the souls of everyone, had overtaken ac pawarat. For this reason, a dread had taken over the souls of everyone. Animos is masculine, Plural, accusative, the direct object of akkupawarat, and omnium is masculine plural, and genitive, it is describing whose souls they are. It's a genitive of possession. Akkupawarat, meanwhile, is a pluperfect, indicative, third singular, active. Cepheus, therefore, Cepheus being the king, Cepheus, therefore, the oracle of the god Hammon, he consulted, he sought the advice of, Oraculum is neuter, singular, and accusative. It is the object of consuluit, and hammonis and dei are masculine, singular, and genitive. It is that god's oracle. Consuluit is a perfect indicative, third singular. Cepheus therefore sought advice from the oracle of the god Hammon, and by that god, Adeo, he was ordered, usus est. This is a perfect passive, third singular indicative, from the verb ubeo, ubeira, it's a second conjugation verb, and it means to order. And so by that god he was commanded filiam monstro trotere. That is, he was commanded to surrender trotere, to hand over his daughter filiam to the creature. Trotere is an infinitive. It really is functionally the object of usus est. What was he commanded? He was commanded the handing over. Now, we might say that usus est ought not have an object, but it's passive, but I mean conceptually it functions like an object. He was ordered what? The handing over of the daughter. She is feminine, singular, accusative, as the object of trotere, to hand over the daughter, monstro, to the beast, which is neuter, singular, and dative, as the indirect object. The infinitive trotere is a compound of trons, the preposition meaning across, and do, which means to give. So to give across, i.e. to hand over. And so it's no surprise that this verb would take an indirect object, as all compounds of do do.